right, it's Jamie back. Um, all right, so tonight I am going to show you a really superb squash soup. Squash is very, uh, it, it, it breeds in winter. Um, you go to the supermarket and you will just find the most juiciest, yellow, most luscious squashes. Um, and I'm going to make it with the best. Parmesan croutons, I mean, they're really tasty. Anyway, oi, oi, Poppy, Poppy is eating a pig. Poppy, go take it to Mummy. Now, Jules is in the kitchen. Um, obviously not my kitchen, in another kitchen. We, we've got our own kitchens. Um, and this particular recipe is a favourite of Jules, I might add. Um, so, gentlemen, get out your pens and your paper, because you'll want to get this one down. All right, so... Alright, basically, this this particular so serves eight. Um, Alright, so you need olive oil. You need 16 fresh sage leaves, particularly fresh. Um, two red onions, peeled and chopped, roughly. Two sticks of celery, trimmed and chopped. <laughs> two carrots. Uh, you got to peel them and chop them. Four cloves of garlic. We like to have a nice garlicky flavour in this one. Um, two sprigs of fresh rosemary. Now this would help if you had uh, planted a little Jamie her garden down the back, like what I showed you last week. Um, uh, you need a red chilli. Uh, basically you can put in as much or as little as you like, depending on your taste when it comes to chilli. Uh, we need some sea salt and freshly ground black pepper, of course. You need some uh, but butternut squash, onion squash, or moss de Provence. And you need to halve it, to feed it, and cut it into little chunks. And then last but not least, we need two litre, good quality, chicken or vegetable stock. Right, so what we do is, <clears throat> this soup is best made with varieties of squash that have dense orange flesh, such as butternut or onion squash. Uh, it's important to use good chicken stock and season the soup well to bring out the nutty, sweet flavour of the squash. Yeah? So, once you've mastered this recipe, you can take the soup in different ways by adding pearl barley, dried pasta, or some chopped smoked bacon, perhaps. You know, whatever you fancy. It's, it, whatever way it turns out, pucker, I'm telling you. So, I made this in my pressure cooker the other day, actually, and come out with really great results it's so quick and easy right so this is how we do it so we put a very large saucepan on a medium heat yeah and pour in a couple of glugs good you know good quality olive oil extra virgin cold press um add the sage leaves fry them for about 30 seconds until they're dark green and crisp you don't want to overcook them because that will just suck all the flavor out all right you need to be you do this quickly because the oil's going to get hot now you quickly remove them with a slotted spoon um, and then just put them in a bowl lined uh -oh. with kitchen paper. Uh -oh. You need to drain uh -oh. them, you can't let them be too oily. Uh -oh. Now, uh -oh. in the pan, now that's Poppy, she's, uh, she's eating an ice cream, homemade of course. Um, <laughs> now, in the pan, you'll be left with a beautifully flavoured oil. So put it back on the heat, throw in your onion, celery, carrot, garlic, rosemary leaves, chilli and a good pinch of salt and pepper. Uh, cook it gently for about 10 minutes until the vegetables are sweet and soft. Add the squash and stock to the pan. Bring to the boil and simmer for about half an hour. All right? Now, uh, while the soap is cooking, you make your croutons. Not easy. Not hard, is it? <laughs> Drizzle a little olive oil over your batter slices. Did I mention you need to get your batter? Right, uh, you pat it in and then you press some grated parmesan onto each side, just like this. Right, and uh, you place it in a non stick pan without any oil, right? No oil, and then you fry until golden on both sides. <laughs> it should sound like this. Soft and cooked through with the soup with a hand blender, 
and pour it into a liquidizer, you know, whatever, and pulse until you have a smooth puree. You know? And um, you can leave it slightly chunky if you like, depending on your taste. <laughs> I mean, everybody, <laughs> with a little bit, you know, soup is quite a personal thing. You either like it chunky or smooth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so then after you've done that, you divide the soup between your bowls. So you've got eight. And um, you place two croutons on top of each. Now, traditionally, you know, in your cup of soups, you've got little little squares about this big of crouton. These are nice big ones. And they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they soak up all the juice. You know, you, you know when you dip a biscuit into a copper <laughs> and it goes all nice and mushy and you eat it and it's so, what's the word, comforting almost, you know? Like when you're a baby and you were spoon fed this mushy food. <laughs> sort of that same, you know, you feel me, right? So that, don't feel that you have to have little croutons, right? Because these big ones. <laughs> Last but not least, right, this is the finishing touch. The soup will not be the same without it, alright? You sprinkle a few crispy sage leaves and drizzle with a good quality extra virgin oil. Just drizzle it on nicely. <laughs> Add a bit of salt and pepper to taste if you wish. And eat away. It's puppet of your life. I'm off. This has been Jamie Oliver. Good night. No.